All right, folks, I just want to rip through all the gems I got from Jehovah this morning when I went to the open park. <laughs> Everything is by divine ordinance. I love it. And Jehovah leads me to do simple things for the glory of himself mathematically. And it's a pleasure to do it every single time. We, have, we live on the top of this hill overlooking Langley, more or less, in the Willoughby area. And there's this gorgeous community park that they've been working on for months. <laughs> it's been over six months at least. Um, that just opened I think it was today or yesterday. And um, uh, my favorite thing, there is a basketball court in there, and I love basketball. And basketball court divides by three. Um, but I went to the open park <laughs> this morning, and I was the first person to shoot hoops all by myself with a basketball, because I love it. And I was just saying to Jehovah while I was out there, I love everything here. I love the fresh air. It was a perfect temperature for shooting hoops. I love, I was like, I love my clothes. I love this ball. I love this hoop. I love this net. I love this park. I love this stuff. And I was just getting words from Jehovah for the number three. Okay, so I'm just going to lay them all out for you, like, you know, rapid fire, without apology. This is the glory of God, people, that you can solve everything in this universe for the glory of the Trinity. Everything in this universe. And that is a gift, that is a joy, it is a pleasure. It's pleasurable on the minds to be doing these numbers while you're doing the activity. You're getting words coming you, coming to you from Jehovah God about what you're doing. You're, you're seeing the beauty of the threes in them. It's total pleasure for the human soul. And that's why I want to share everything that comes into my brain. That's the definition of total transparency, is sharing what comes into your brain. Like, what are your thoughts? Share your thoughts. It's an act of love. Okay, but we got mathematically gorgeous words for the glory of the Trinity because God speaks English and he's perfect. Therefore, it belongs to him. The English language belongs to God. So, um, this morning, I'm zooming back to this morning, okay? I just made over four hours of glorious truth video on this afternoon, what we found. But this morning, I went to the open park and look at the beauty of that phrase, open park. <laughs> double, double chain linked for threes in the middle, and then the O and the R both divided by three, the P and the K get together to make 60. What does that all add to? It's amazing. 60 plus 30, 90, equals 96. Divides by 24 perfectly. Good night. Open park. <laughs> open park! <laughs> Everyone loves an open park. If you want to be reminded how joyful a park is, get some kids in your life. Kids are so full of wonder. As I walked home past the park, who do you see in the park? I saw kids today. Kids are in there. There's, there were some, you know, later in the afternoon, there were some teens hanging out in the basketball court. The kids love the park. You gotta be a kid again. Um, and they're full of wonder. There was like this tiny little toddler, so cute. She like obviously couldn't talk, could barely walk, and she had her slightly older sister. And they were like picking things off the ground. And they're like wondering at like, oh, this is, look, there's a hole in the ground and they're going to put a tennis court there and there's going to be a pole and they're just like so full of wonder. You're just like, yes, it is a magical world, but you just have to understand the, the depths of the glory of God in every word that we speak. So I'm going to lay it all out for you folks. I'm not going to hold anything back because I know this is the glory of God and you've got to be extreme. You, you've got to just solve it all. It's a pure pleasure. Um, and tell your personal story. Because when you tell your personal story, in honesty and truth, that always glorifies Jehovah. Okay? When we tell the truth, when we tell exactly what happened, and exactly what is going through our minds, we bring glory to Jehovah. Okay? Because whatever is happening, is happening by His sovereign will. And it will always point us to Him. Okay? So... I'm going to rattle off a bunch of terms that I got in my mind while I was down there at the basketball court with my basketball, okay, in the open park. So we saw the open park, just um, beautiful. And uh, but now a whole bunch of terms that divide by three. And I'm going to be fun. I'm going to like draw little diagrams on the board, just like a teacher, just like a scientist. Um, so we get details. This could be hilarious. Um, so, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me how, 
how much time this takes because these words are eternal. The words of God last forever. That's why we can take an hour. We can take a long time solving details because it's satisfying because you know it lasts forever. These words are never going to change. These items in world history are never going to change. And so it's satisfying to, to do it. we got time. God's children always have lots of time. So, first of all, it is a basketball court. Well, basketball court divides by three. By divine ordinance to the glory of the Trinity. Who was basketball invented by? Let's go straight to the root. Go straight to the root of the whole story of basketball. Who was it invented by? James Naismith. From Canada, no less. Both words divide by three. James Naismith divides by three. James is like one of God's favorite names to glorify himself in world history. 24 in front, 24 in back, triple A, triple A. Smith, you know, three, pairwise threes moving out, and then Nay adds another 24 here. So look at, look at the obvious 24s in James Naismith. And then you've got another 42 plus 27 is Jehovah in the famous last name Smith. It's like, hello, triple A, triple A, triple A, Jehovah. <laughs> Gee, who takes the glory for basketball class? <laughs> Could it be Jesus equals eight at eight, who is Jehovah? <laughs> triple A, triple A, triple A, Jehovah. <laughs> James Naismith, the inventor of basketball. <laughs> Just good night. What does that all come to? 72 plus 69. You know, here, here's the three fest that makes 72, and then that differs from three points by the 69. That's 141, three times uh, 47, which is three times the 15th prime, 15 being three times the third prime. So, James Naismith, <laughs> the creator of basketball in 13 letters, which glorifies number three. So, we just jump straight to the root. Um, oh, and I wanted to preach on a on a um, image that I got from Jehovah while I was doing all these revelations and getting doing all this treasure hunting today, and uh, that is this. Okay, I actually got this while I was outside of Superstore, and we were harvesting products like chocolate bar brands and candy brands and solving them for the glory of the Trinity and peaches and all that stuff. Um, I just want to share this with you. Imagine in your mind a tree, okay, with, with all its branches, you know, like this, and coming out like this, um, and uh, God is the root of all things, the Trinity, the triune God. So let's just draw a triangle to remind ourselves that God is three persons, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost, okay? God is the creator of all things, the root of all things. So. When we were at Superstore, we're solving individual products, okay? For example, like Skittles. We're up here on like a leaf node. Here's like a tiny little leaf node on the tree. This is us, you know, looking at a bag of Skittles, having purchased a bag of Skittles, and we saw it, okay? Well, all the people that were involved in producing that ultimate product, okay? Down in the tree here, you know, and, in, and up in the branches, the, the product developers, the engineers, the, 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 the chefs, the people that experimented, the chemical flavor people, the, the marketing people, the business people, every single person involved in the ultimate production and shipping and coloring and design and everything involved in manufacturing and the creation of the robots, that, the robotics that do these market, the factories and stuff, that ultimately bring a single consumer a bag of skills in one store, okay, and the history of it, the history behind it, you know, and how it all developed, and yada, yada, yada. That's all down here in the tree, okay, like the people, you know, and stuff. Um, until we just pick up a single product that says Skittles on it, and the final, the final product, way up here on the tree. But God is sovereign, and he has ordained that you can take what we call the freeway, Using numbers, okay, numbers are literally the interstate freeway that always point everything that gets, you know, produced right back to the Trinity, the triune God, okay? Numbers are the interstate freeway that take you, that point directly to the triune God in every single name of every single product and every single thing in world history. So while there's this huge story 
See, because God, the triune God, ordained all of the people, okay, all of the people that ultimately worked together to produce this one product, is what I'm saying. It's like a tree. Well, God is the creator and ordainer of all people in world history. He is the root of everything. He is the ordainer of everything. He's the designer and the creator of every human being who has ever lived. And he ordained them all to be born in their specific locations and have their specific gifts and desires to all work together and do things together to ultimately, there's, one, there's this one little product in the story of God called Skittles, which we solve mathematically in detail to the sovereign glory of God. But it is the numbers which give you a direct interstate freeway right back to God, who is the root of everything. Okay, so no matter where you are on this tree of something in the story of God, with all the people involved and all the mechanisms, at any point, you just jump on the numbers freeway and it'll always point you to the Trinity. <laughs> because God insists that he take the glory for everything in world history, and the way he does that more abundantly than anything else is numbers. <laughs> okay? And so, and, you know, why do we call it the I-5? Why, why are all the interstates in the United States called the I? Well, because I is 9, which is 3 times 3. 9 equals 3 times 3. And there's not just one interstate, there are many interstates. So the word inter divides by 3, and then states divides by 3, because the root of state divides by 3. So the interstates, all divides by 3, 9, double 9, the famous word net, 39, you know, 39, 60, 84, what does it all come to? Um, 84 plus 111 plus, wow, 150, like interstate, like just, just as an example, okay? And then 5, when you speak it divides by 3, so the I5, I'm just giving you an example, okay? Is um, 51. But that's, that's what you can, you can just see in your mind. So, for example, today we solved a bunch of chocolate bar brands, Mars, okay? This is what we call the leaf node. We are at the end of the line. We are the consumer that is now holding the product in our hands, okay? And we get to partake of the product that is at the end of a whole long story, the end of a whole long sequence and knitting together of people and mechanisms and, you know, ultimately it's people that God ordained to work together to bring this product to market so that the, a single person at the end of the line gets to pick up a Mars bar at the store, okay, to the glory of the Trinity. But, this is the image you have to have in your mind. Anything that you pick up at the end of the line, so a crispy crunch, whatever, a product, Sparkling water, we solved that today. A bottle with a lid. Anything. You know, Crayola. Crayola divides by three, like loaded with love and three galore. When you solve anything at the end of the line, a final product, you jump on the numbers train that points you directly to God, who is the root of the whole thing. And as a matter of fact, you can jump on this interstate, this instantaneous pointing to God at any place in the tree. This is literally, this tree is literally the tree of God's creation. Like everything under the sun, everything in the universe, everything in all of humanity, in all of world history, all the text ever written, all the books ever written, everything has a name and every name has a number. It's a massive tree that always starts and ends with God. So here, like various parts of the tree, this branch is like the sporting world, this is like the cooking world, this is like the food, this is like, you know, all the different realms of everything under the sun. God is the creator and the ordainer. The Trinity is the creator and the ordainer of all things. And he has ordained, as far as I can see, absolutely, if you pick any location on this tree, any product, you jump on, you solve it mathematically, and just it points to God, the Trinity. You take the interstate straight down to the root. Okay? And you'll see the threes galore by his sovereign will. So that everything at any point always points to the Trinity. So when we pick up a final product at Superstore in Langley, we solve the, the name of it, we solve all the things that are in that product to the glory of the Triune God, 
who created all the people, okay, that ultimately he ordains to work together to bring us that product. You see that? But God is sovereign and he makes sure the names of everything is perfect, so that the numbers are perfect, so that it maximally glorifies him before the trillions of watching angels. So that's why the numbers are the, the interstate. The numbers are the way you just, boom, you go straight to God at any point, anything in this tree. Okay. God takes the glory for everything in the universe using numbers. It's just that simple. There's a very famous star, for example, in the universe called Polaris, which is the name of the North Star, around which all the other stars spin. When you live in the Northern Hemisphere, and you see those time-lapse photos, remember, of rings of stars around one centered dot? Those time-lapse photos? By divine ordinance, Polaris divides by three beautifully, because God is sovereign. He ordained man to name it Polaris. And look at how obvious it is. These letters all divide by three, and then you got three letters in perfect pitchfork position that knit together to make 36 divides by three. So the Polaris, 36 plus the rest, is, um, can you find love in Polaris? Of course you can. 36 plus another 18, there's love number one, plus half a love, O-L, plus another nine. So Polaris is literally love, plus half a love, plus another nine, three times three. Like, God leads us to find love in every phrase that we saw. Polaris is a very important navigational star. It's the star that basically sits still while all the other stars spin around it. So in a time-lapse photo, it's like the bullseye on a ringed target that you would shoot an arrow at, Polaris. It's perfect for the number three, to the glory of the Trinity. So you see that? Polaris is one of the creations of God. Well, you solve the numbers of Polaris, and you've just jumped straight down to God. Okay? Just like the word sun equals love. Straight down to God. The product Skittles. We solved that today for the number three. Straight down to God, using the numbers. Straight to God. Straight to God. No matter how long and complicated and intricate the story is of the ultimate final product Skittles. All the people involved. All, whatever involved. Solve the final product directly for the Trinity. The final product directly to the Trinity, using the numbers, boom, it all points to God, okay? And um, God indeed, you know, that's why it's, it's both pleasurable to solve what's happening right now, like what has God ordained things to be like right now? And then you can solve the beginning of, you know, the root of companies and stuff, and that's very satisfying to solve what's, what it, it's, it's very satisfying in my opinion to solve the bookends of a story. What do we hold in our hands right now? What is the state of Skittles right now by God's sovereign will? And then what is the beginning of, for example, the Skittles story? Solve those two bookends. It's like the leaf node and like the initial branch on the tree. You can solve it at any point, but it, using numbers, it always points to the Trinity. The number three is always beautifully screaming out at you. So that's the image I wanted to share with you. You can pick any area of anything under the sun, okay, and solve it using the numbers. Remember, this is the divine truth. Everything in this universe has a name, and every name has a number, and all the numbers point directly to God, and a tree is the perfect image for that. Pick any where you want in anything under the sun, solve it, study it properly. If you study it properly and patiently, you will see so many beautiful threes, it will make your head spin, and it will point you directly to God, who is the root of everything. The creator of everything, the ordainer of everything. God created all the people that worked together to ultimately create certain products and certain buildings and everything that there is. Okay. So, but the numbers are the interstate. You know, jump on, just jump on, it, just go straight to the numbers, boom, the trinity. You're there. Okay. You're seeing the glory of God right away. Right on the leaf note. Okay. Because God is sovereign through every branch of this tree, through every step of the way. Okay. 
And again, folks, just as a, another big bonus, like just an obvious gem, when you go to the United States, the most commonly driven fast roads are the interstates, and they're just called I. I. The I-5, the I-90, the I-405, the I-30, the I this, I, I that, because I equals 9, 3 times 3. It's God's favorite word and letter to start every sentence with. I am Jehovah. Now you know why. Now you know why it's called an interstate. It's that way for the glory of the Trinity. Because God can tell you, I want you to go on the I-5. And God insists that when, when, when those words come out of his mouth into your mind, that they mathematically glorify him, his triune nature, all the time. So the story is all about God. It's all about God's pleasure. And God likes the number three a whole lot. <laughs> so if you want to like what God likes, you better like the number three. <laughs> okay. So, this morning, um, because God is three persons. Even before the angels existed, God was three persons. That tells me that numbers existed even before angels did, or anything in this physical universe did. Ponder that one for a while. Like, God was three persons before he created the angels, before he created the physical elements, before he created anything that, as we know it in our universe. Even before he created the English language. There, there's the proof in the pudding that numbers are greater than English itself. And numbers are greater than all world languages except maybe Hebrew. <laughs> God created the world using spoken Hebrew words. But remember, English did not come along until the Tower of Babel experience. Okay? Well, that means numbers existed, and we know from the six days of creation that God perfectly glorified the number three in those six days of creation. Whatever comes first is the most glorious, remember that. So that means all the other languages other than Hebrew did not exist until Babel, which means numbers existed before them all, which means numbers are greater than all world languages. That's why, by converting everything to numbers and seeing the numbers of everything, we're getting our satisfaction. Because numbers are the greatest. Because numbers were there first. God was glorifying numbers long before the English language existed. We've got pastors now that only speak the English language and they're not taking people into the numbers. Well, you're missing the greatest glory of all. Because whatever comes first is the most glorious. God is the oldest. The oldest is the greatest. Oldest divides by three. First and oldest both divide by three. I want to hit this one out of the park for you. So that you are convinced beyond all reason that numbers are the greatest. Numbers are the king. Numbers are the glory. Numbers are the goods. Numbers are God's favorite, basically. Because there's more numbers in this universe than any other thing. Because everything can be counted. Oldest, 24 triple A, 24 triple A, 27, 3 times 3 times 3. I mean, how many more threes do you want? That is exactly three points higher than the word first. First equals 72. Both dividing by three. Three, okay? And the first letters all divide by three. God is first. God is oldest. The oldest is the greatest. There's no one older than God. He's the greatest. Well, numbers are older than the English language. In fact, we can conclude, even just from the six days of creation, that numbers are older than humankind themselves. It's obvious. You know? And if you go even further back, the Bible tells us that one-third of the angels fell before mankind was created. We're, we're taking you back even before mankind existed, when it was just angels. We know from the Bible that before mankind existed, there was a one-third of the angels fell. And that, numbers, 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 okay? I'm just telling you that numbers were around before a lot of things. And God was using numbers in the six days of creation, and if he was using numbers in the six days of creation, that means numbers are greater than anything that comes after that. Because whatever God does first is the most important. So numbers are king, so that's why we're, we're so careful with numbers. We're so 
eating this up, we're getting satisfaction, we're getting happy. The more I talk about numbers, the happier I get. Okay. So, and the world is ready for this. The reason we have Wikipedia and the internet and computers is because the world is now ready to harvest world history mathematically. It's that simple. You've got to be on the cusp of what God is doing. Why do we have all these computers? Why do we have Wikipedia? Why do we have this technology? Why is this? Because now it's time for us to see the glory of God using numbers. It's that obvious. Okay. So, this morning, I went to a basketball court. That divides by three. Diagram, please. It looks like this. And around this court, okay. So, words from Jehovah this morning. So you can understand the love of God in everything. If you can't find love in a basketball court, where, where will you find love? Okay. Basketball game divides by three. Basketball court divides by three. Ball divides by three. Net divides by three. Hoop equals love. Backboard divides by three. This is a pole. That divides by three. It's made of metal. Metal divides by three. A metal pole divides by three. These are bars. Bar divides by three. A metal bar divides by three. The color is orange. Okay? Orange divides by three. <laughs> this is a parabola. Parabola divides by three. It is caused by gravity. Gravity divides by three. Okay? This basketball court is surrounded by a chain link fence. Fence divides by three. Chain link divides by three, a chain link fence divides by three. Okay. Every ball performs what we call a bounce. Bounce divides by three. Okay. This is a trajectory. Trajectory divides by three. The ball has a velocity. Velocity equals love plus love, and you can find the two loves. Velocity is like one of the easiest words to find love twice because it's got um, oh, love plus love plus three because you've got love sitting right there in V-E-L-O, then you've got a C which is three, and you've got another love, I-T-Y and N, love plus love plus three in the word velocity. Okay? When you shoot a basketball, you want to have backspin. Okay? For the best chance of scoring. Backspin divides by three. The backboard divides by three. Also in this park, there's a baseball diamond. Both words divide by three. Base equals ball equals 27. Baseball equals love. Then the baseball diamond has a backstop. Backstop divides by three. There is also, you know, right next to the basketball court, tennis divides by three. Tennis course, but, okay? <laughs> I'm just giving you all the words that come to mind. So while you're doing a pleasurable activity, together with God, who is your best friend, Okay, who lives inside of you by the Holy Ghost, he's giving you words about what it is that you're doing, and even words of encouragement, okay, that divide by three, because he insists that every word that he speaks and every word that we speak glorify the Trinity. Okay, so I'm out there playing basketball and looking at everything, and I'm just solving it all, and I'm getting into details, and like... And it's more of a pleasure now because I appreciate the details and words are a pleasure to just meditate on and you're just like in heaven playing basketball. Um, and uh, like down to the detail, you know, like and all these agents of unity in mechanisms like this. Like how do you bind a bar together with a backboard? Well, you have a screw and a bolt. Well, by divine ordinance, a screw and a bolt knit together in nine letters to divide by three. And it's really obvious. First two letters knit together. Last three knit together. All these letters divide by three. 
And actually what makes it even more obvious is when you put them side by side. Put the screw in front and then the word bolt after. Um, or no, it's fine. Well, you can go like this. What I'm saying is you can do chain linking and bookending like that. So literally you get triple bookending with a screw and a bolt. That's how you fasten something. You got the screw mechanism and then you wind the bolt onto it. Here's your screw. Wind your bolt until it's tight to fasten this piece in there. Screw and a bolt. In nine letters, what does it add to? 21 plus 48, 69. There's Jehovah already found. Plus another 12 is 81. Plus another, wow, man. Plus another um, 33 is uh, 114, 117. Screw plus bolt equals mathematician. Can you find love in a screw plus bolt combo? Love, God is the agent, God is unity, God is three people in one. Everything that works to bind things together is an expression of who God is. Okay, the king of unity. So can you find love plus nine in screw plus bolt? Sure you can, okay, but I'll leave that one to you for homework. But it's just like, that's, I mean, that's what is like, you just start looking closer at things. Like you've got these metal bars, you know, fastened to the backboard with screws and bolts. Like, and someone had to put that together in the name of love. Everything that we do is an act of love. Putting things together. Love, 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 because God is three persons who are nuts about their triune nature and perfect unity. Um, and, um, you know, the fact that the word bounce divides by three. Bounce is such an obvious word. Three letters divide by three, three letters that don't. And six letters total. 21 plus 36. Bounce equals 60 in six letters. Balance equals holy, equals pure, equals pray, equals believe, equals work. Every bounce of a ball. Done. You're just like, yep, Jehovah is sovereign, and he's three persons. And uh, you need to confess that God is three persons. Um, and so you're just like, you're, you're playing basketball, and you're just loving it. You're just like, yeah, God is sovereign. And then now you're starting to thank God. For specific, like you're, you're really thankful. Now you're thanking God for every detail of everything. You're like, thank you, God, for this chain link fence that is around this basketball court. So if I get a bad bounce, oh yeah, the chain link fence is on top of a wall, specifically a concrete wall. Well, concrete divides by three. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, concrete, you know, the roots, concrete divides by three, then concretes or concreting, whatever. Okay, good idea. The wall is 24 plus 24, 48. Fence is 33. Gate equals 33. Stair. Like you can solve everything really easily. But so now you're starting to thank God for every specific thing. Saying, thank you, God, for the fence. Thank you, God, for this chain of things. Thank you, God, for the people that put up these poles to make this structure. Thank you, God, for this basketball court. Thank you, God, for James Naismith. Who invented basketball? And by the way, it was originally with peach baskets. Well, you wouldn't need peach baskets if you didn't have peaches. And the word peach equals 33, which is king for the number three. Because peach equals name equals all men, 33. Equals seed. So the creator of basketball wouldn't have created basketball if he didn't have peach baskets. I mean, we wouldn't have peach baskets if we didn't have peaches. Go to the root. You just keep going root, root, root. You wouldn't have a peach if you didn't have a C equals 33. You always get maximum to the Trinity. <laughs> maximum, maximum. And if you study the original game of basketball, you'll get even more threes. You've got so many threes coming at you. Of course, Michael Jordan, every number he ever wore glorifies number three. 23 is the ninth prime, three times three. And then every other number he ever wore at the Olympics and in his comeback divides by three. Nine, 12, and 45. Done. Oh, a three-pointer. That divides by three. Like, you just keep going. You just keep going. Because it's God's story, folks. It's not yours. Three-pointer divides by three. Okay? A three-point shot divides by three. I mean, it starts to get embarrassing. And it should be, because God is overwhelming. What does a three-pointer add to? 56 plus 61, 81 plus 18, 99 plus 30, 129 plus 24. 153. Good night. That's the number of fishes Jesus ordained his disciples to catch the third time he appeared to them after his resurrection. 
Three pointer. One fifty three. Done. Three. The three pointer. Now you know what, you know, and then you start solving other players, you know. Why does LeBron James? James divides by three, and he wears number six, double three. Kobe Bryant, 24 triple eight on his back. And what's the highest scoring game in world history? 81 points. Kobe Bryant scored an 81 point game. Why? Because 81 is three times three times three times three. That's why. To the glory of the triune God, who gave him the grace to do that, gave him the ability, gave him the discipline, gave him the team, gave him the court that, that was built in order for him to do that on through a whole bunch of other people. It's all God, folks. It's all Jehovah. If you even think for one second that you had something to do with it, God will just say, sorry, I actually created you anyways, and I make sure that I take the glory for everything. That's it. That's it. And you just have to surrender all. Like the Bible says, we cast our crowns at the feet of Jesus. We claim nothing. John the Baptist said it very well. A man can receive nothing except that it's been given to him from heaven above. Our job is to thank God for everything and everyone at all times. And so, as I'm out there, playing basketball by myself on a beautiful, simple court, I'm getting words from Jehovah about how every single thing around me and everything that's a part of this is pointing to his triune nature himself. So now I'm thanking Jehovah for everything. I'm saying, thank you, Jehovah, for my shoes. Shoes divides by three. They're ASICs. ASICs divides by three. They're ASICs gel. ASICs gel divides by three. Thank you, Jehovah, for my ASICs gel shoes. Three, three, three. You know? And, um, and my feet. Feet divides by three. Like, you're just, you're just solving everything. Of course, your hand on the ball. Hand equals ball. 27. Three times three times three. Boom. Backspin divides by three. What else? Gravity divides by three. You just, just, what? Everything involved in the pleasure of something that you enjoy. A basketball is orange slash brown. Both words divide by three. In fact, they both divide by 12, differing by 12. Oh, let's solve Spalding. Spalding. S plus one in front. Gold train of three is behind. You can drag out the S if you want. Spalding. And if you could talk about Spalding's, you know, products. You just get the plus one in front and back, and the gold train of threes in the center. What is the gold train? It's 21 plus 21 plus 21. Good night. It doesn't get more obvious. A triple of 21s in Spalding? It doesn't get any better than that, because 21 is a simple set of threes. Now you got a triple of them. Done. We just solved Spalding, the basketball company. Spalding is a gift to mankind. And there's many people involved in Spalding. And there's a great history involved in Spalding. But it's all for Jehovah. And if you miss that, you're going to miss worshiping your God. Which is the most important thing man wants to do. Worship his maker. And see and understand him. If you can't see God in a Spalding basketball and understand that he ordained that, we're missing everything. So look at look at the three twenty ones in Spalding. I I am shocked. The P and the A and the D make twenty one number one. The L and the I, the two letters that divide by three, make twenty one number two. And the N and the G on the end make twenty one number three. If I have you know what I have my Spalding ball right here. I'm going to go get it for you. <clears throat> I had to go up and down a stair in order to get my spalling ball. Stair is the exact same phenomenon as spalling. S plus 1 in front, gold train of 3 is behind. 48 in the case of stereo. Well, here it is.
Spalding. The very famous name Spalding. And so, while I was out there, while I'm out there playing basketball with my Spalding, I have the pleasure of doing the numbers of the threes on my mind, of the Spalding ball that I'm playing with. So you give me a physical workout plus an intellectual meal from God Almighty. Knowledge is food. Words of God are food and pleasure. So here it is, just straight off the ball, and it's always in capital letters, the glory. P-A-D, 21, L-I, 21, N-G, 21. Done. Triple of 21s. Man. And of course, when you play basketball, remember that game 21? Remember how you used to play 21 with your friends? Growing up, hey, you want to play a game of 21? Ordained by heaven. Ordained by heaven. And when you spell 21, numbers have names too. When you spell 21 in English, it divides by three and nine letters. T-W-E-N-T-Y-O-N-E. -E. In nine letters, six for 20, three for one, divides by three. Want to play a game of 21? In the name of love, between you and me, to the glory of the Trinity, let's do it. You can do it all day, to the glory of the Triune God. You're free to do that. But just know that He takes the glory for it all. Spalding, they're very careful to write it on both sides. A triple of 21s. You can get a ball that's either indoor or outdoor. Indoor divides by three, outdoor divides by three. The three colors of the NBA logo are red, white, and blue, which divide by three. And I believe National Basketball Association divides by three. You can easily solve it. Just holding a basketball makes me happy. That's the way Michael Jordan was for certain, man. Some people, man, just... Happiness is sacred, folks. Happiness is sacred. Enjoyment is sacred. I have a new desire to never cause anyone stress as much as possible in my life for the rest of my life. Never cause anyone stress. Trust Jehovah with them. Don't take vengeance. Never cause anyone stress. Only seek to bring people happiness. Only seek to impart truth, whatever you can, in love to people. Of course, Made in China divides by three. It's a very famous three fest that's printed everywhere. That's to the glory of the Trinity. That's the way it is, folks. A lot of other Made Ins, of course, do the same. So backspin. Here it is. Hand equals 27. Ball equals 27. You're just like, so ball plus hand equals love. What else? Um, oh yeah, I got this word. Remember the company Huffy Sports? Remember Huffy Backboards? Huffy was, used to be a sports company. They also made bicycles. Huffy equals happy. It's just a loaded company name. They still have products everywhere. <clears throat> I'm going to clear our little basketball diagram. <laughs> I love drawing pictures. Um, and of course, while you're out there, fresh air divides by three. Oxygen is kind of important. Oxygen divides by three, composed of two teams of 45 hopscotch. Okay. Um, um, but, uh, oh yeah, Huffy. Huffy, the company, equals happy. And that's really beautiful because you duplicate these two letters and then have an H in the beginning and a Y on the end. Huffy equals 66 equals happy. They make bicycles. They've also done sports equipment. Huffy, three letters divided by three in the center, the bookends make 33. So these, this is amazing. Three center letters that divide by three equal 33. 
bookends make the other 33. It's a king name for the number three. Because remember, name equals 33, Huffy. I encourage you to go on the Huffy website and look at Huffy's Wikipedia page. And just know that the triune God ordained Huffy. Huffy equals happy. Go buy a Huffy problem. So isn't that amazing? These three center letters in happy make 33, obviously. And the bookends make 33. Just like Huffy. Huffy, happy. I encourage you to... Huffy makes some gorgeous bicycles. Classy things. Buy a Huffy bicycle for your son or your daughter. They'll be happy. Try Jehovah glorified. Once you realize how nuts God is about the number three, it'll just really shake you up at how nuts he is about unity and love and family and togetherness and truth about himself. It's the truth about who God is that will unite us and bring us together. The root of all disunity is people believing different things, which is to say they don't know the same thing. That's why I'm so passionate about this work and these truths, because this is the glory of God. And if more people know this, and more people get this worldwide, that's going to promote love and unity like crazy. Hafi equals happy. And, uh, I'm going to show you another gem here. The word cycle divides by three. And so watch this. You can have a bicycle or a tricycle, and then you want a whole bunch of them. Look at God's perspective. He's generous. He says there's going to be a lot of bicycles down there. There's going to be a lot of tricycles. First letter knits together with the S on the end. Cycle in the middle divides by three. These letters all divide by three. Jehovah takes the glory for all bicycles and all tricycles. Done. Simple. Threes. Okay. So, all together now. Huffy bicycles divides by three. What is this famous center cycle? 30 plus um, 48, a double of triple eight. 48 right there. And you're at 957 plus 21, 78. Okay. The word ride divides by three. Ride is 36, 30 points less than Huffy. Um, and of course, while I was playing basketball, play equals love. It's like, it's all for love. Play equals love. Baseball equals love. Play baseball. Love, love. It's like, wow. Is there anything else that came to my mind while I was out there today? I'm a, a lot of kids, a lot of parents with their kids walking in the strollers through the park. It's just so funny how everything is just screaming out three in the most obvious ways. Like a, a husband and a wife walking beside each other, pushing a stroller. And most modern strollers are three-wheeled. I mean, one, two, three. So you got the three people, the husband, the wife, and the baby. Baby divides by three, child divides by three. Now you can really enter into the intelligence of God, because God knows, like, this is what shocks me. God knows the number of blades of grass in every single park around the world. And then park names start knitting together. Like, there's a lot of parks in this world. Like, a lot of parks in this world. So, for example, when I walk down a superstore, on my right-hand side, there's a park called Willowbrook Park. Well, the Willowbrook knits together with the offset of park to divide by three. And that's just one teeny tiny little park in the millions on planet Earth. Stretch your mind, man. Like, God is, f like, he is way more intelligent than... Everything on the internet and all the supercomputers combined. And so, how dare we shame ourselves by not even recognizing that he has ordained numbers to be the mechanism by which he takes the glory for everything. There's more numbers in the Bible than any other single thing. There's more numbers in this universe than any other single thing. Does, does that tell you that God likes numbers? Of course. 
because God's pleasure is maximum. If there's a lot of numbers in this universe, God must be nuts about numbers. So how dare we make light of this? How dare we miss this? We're, we're, dis we're literally dishonoring ourselves. We're disowning ourselves, practically. We are depriving ourselves of the most worship-inspiring treasure field that exists. What other words came to mind while I was playing uh, basketball down there? Ah, I was the first person to use that hoop. The park just opened, and we live right next to the park. I know for a fact I was the first human being to use the word first divides by three. The first. Hoop equals love. Hype equals love. It's not about hype. It's about hoop. Well, actually, it's about both. I love hype, and I love hoop. <laughs> hype is awesome, man. Hype is fun. perfect shot in basketball produces a swish. Swish divides by three and swoosh divides by three. That's a favor. Because the word swish perfectly parallels the name Jehovah. The center letter divided by three and pairwise threes on the out. Same thing with the word swoosh. Two O's, pairwise threes, just like Jehovah. What does swish add to? 51 plus some, um, 27, 78, okay. Swish, ball plus net, just like, anything else that came to mind?